welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So tonight we're actually heading back to go and see Hamilton at the Palace Theatre in Manchester. Tonight we are actually sitting at the back of the stalls. These are the very cheapest seats you can buy, £13. So it's interesting to see what the view is going to be like from the two different seats. We're sat in the more expensive ones last time. Tonight we're going with my husband because it's his birthday. And yeah, I'll try to show you a bit more around the theatre this evening. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this little vlog. It's a little while later now, we're at the tram stop. It's very busy, I might wait for the next one. We're getting the next one. It's five minutes, will we make it for this one or not? So we've just arrived in St. Peter's Square. We're just gonna walk up, see if maybe we can get some food at Weatherspoons. Otherwise we're gonna go McDonald's. There's the big Santa. And there's lights. Okay, so we're just gonna see if there's any tables in here in Paramount, see if we can get some food, but might be busy. So our food has arrived, it came really, really quickly, so I've just got what I always get. A buttermilk chicken burger, and Lauren's has got ultimate burger. So we've got plenty of time to eat this before we need to head to the theatre, so we don't have to rush. Okay, so it's quarter to seven now, we've just finished our food, and we're just heading up to the theatre. So I'll probably We'll probably go in and have a little look around the theatre. Might go up to the grand here and see what's up there. I think there's some like selfie spots up there and stuff, so we'll do that. And I'll show you around the theatre. And yeah, I'll get back to you in a bit. There you go, you can see the theatre now. There's a sign. Okay, so there's no queue to go get get in currently, which is good. And just go straight in, but I'm just gonna try and take a picture of Lauren before we head in outside. Since it is his birthday. And here's the box office just here. Okay, so we're just about to head in. Lawrence is looking at the price, let's see if there's anything he wants. I bought the magnet last time in the program. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't buy the program, but I got a program. Yeah, that's the magnet. There you go. Yeah, that's the one that I've got. Yeah, bin said. Oh, there's a beanie hat. No, it's cold. I've got a Marvel hat. I've got a black You're sure you got two Marvel. Marvel. I've got two. So. Mug? No, I've got enough mugs. Scarf? Is that a lady scarf? No, I've got a lady scarf. A scarf. I don't need a scarf. No? Don't want anything then? Uh, After about half an hour of him deciding what he wants. He's, he's finally picked something and he's going for a key ring and a pin badge. Aren't you? Toddy's too much. I have enough money at home. <laughs> yeah. So we did want to take our picture in front of the big sign. Well, some but, people move as well, they're still. Yeah, people are still in front of it. Maybe come in the interval. There's not many people out about in the interval. Well, we'll come in the interval. Because when I came out in the press night at the interval, there was no one there. So we'll probably do that. So the lift is there. Uh, all Hamilton kitted kit kit out. Here's the lift. Here we go, just gonna have a quick look at the Grand Tier, see what's up here. There you go, well. This is the Grand Tier bar. 
and then this I'll show you the view from the Grand here so this is the view from the top of the Grand here so I'm gonna go down there and they also have like a little moon stall up here in the Grand here and like you can get snacks and stuff from here as well so you don't have to queue in the foyer you can get it all from up here we're gonna go back down now so we're back in the lift now we just took some pictures up there and obviously i showed you the view from the top of the ground here quite a good view actually from up there mm -hmm. it might actually be a better view from where we're sat <laughs> yes, uh, so also on top of it. yeah oh, wow. so it was actually quite a good view from there so if you want cheaper seats maybe that is actually a good option the view's not that bad so we're going to go and have a look at this look in the circle now. So this is the circle bar. And then I think there is a merch stand up here as well. I'll have a look. And then this is Hardy's bar in the circle. It's quite a nice bar. But anyway, we're going to head back down to the circle shop. There's also a merch stand up here. Oh yeah, there's no point hanging around up here if it's not open, so go back down. So we just took our photos at the... Uh, but okay, so we've had a little look around the theatre now, so we're going to head down to the stalls, find our seat. I think it should be open now. So we're now in the stalls area, so that's for foyer. There's like a little merch booth here, but there's no one on it, so we are this side, aren't we? Yeah, we're this side, three and four. Yeah. Yeah, so we're this side, we're on row V, seat three and four. So I'm going to head in now and I'll show you where we're sat. Okay, so we are on row V, so the very back row is row W, so we're on this row, and we're on four, that one, three and four. Also, this performance is captioned, so there's some captions there outside. So anyway, we're going to go and take our seats now, and I can show you the view from our seats. So we will have a bit of obstruction from the overhang, so we may miss some stuff that happens at the top, but uh, we'll see. Okay, so this is the view from our seats. We're in on row V. Uh, I think I'm in seat one, two, three. Five. I'm in seat five. So this is the view, which isn't bad, but there's no one sat in front of me at the minute, so I have to see what the view's like once one sat in front of me. But so far, not too bad. Obviously, you got the overhang from the circle, so you do miss some bits that are on the stairs here, but there's not a lot that goes on on the stairs. So you're more or less going to see everything. Obviously, you've got the I think are they light boxes there or speakers which block a little bit but it probably won't distract many people but that will distract me a little bit and then tonight it's a caption performance so you've got the captions at the either side as well but yeah i think the view should be fine from here as long as you don't get anyone too tall sat in front of you because it is raked a little bit back here but yeah yeah, so I got Lawrence's pin badge for his birthday to put on his coat. It looks really nice. How much was that one? Seven pounds. Seven pounds for that. Maybe it was eight. And I also got him a key ring. Maybe that was eleven. How much was the key ring, ten? I think it was ten. Yeah, he got the key ring as well. Yeah. 
so it's now the interval I didn't have a chance to show you the view from the circle before so I'll show you now here's the circle <laughs> from the top of the circle. Yeah, actually the view from the uh, top of the brand here is better. Anyway. Are you waiting to go in? No, I'm not going in yet. Sorry. I'm going to head back down to the stalls now. So it's now the interval. What do you think so far? I'm going to enjoy it. Enjoyed it? Yeah. yeah. We got lucky, there's no one sat in front of us, so we've got a really good view. The, there are some people cut off that are on the side balconies. Yeah, that's like you literally you're just see their waist, you don't see their heads. Yeah, but it doesn't really take much away from it. No, it's not um, yeah, so all the still a yeah. for the they price. have a spin in central base, so you have that yeah. going on as well. So for the price is six only thirteen pounds, the view is really, oh, really right. good. Very good. Yeah, absolute bargain. That's why we got them. Yeah. There is some understudies on. There's definitely one, Lafayette is definitely understudy. Uh, I'm not looking you think it's understudy. I think maybe the king is, I'm not hundred percent sure I need to check. I'm looking the king. But Lafayette's definitely an understudy and the person who played him, the original person. He's amazing, he's so funny, he's so good. He's one of my favourite characters when I saw it um, on press night. Um, I'm enjoying the game. This guy's alright. But yeah. I like that two clean songs. Uh, he, he really enjoys the king. I'll have I to like check the and see if he's monster. I'm not sure. I just couldn't tell from the back. But yeah, so really, really good. Really enjoying it. Hmm? Uh, yeah. I have to admit, I'm not enjoying it as much as the press night. I think just like press night. Like the atmosphere is like electric, it was like really good. But still enjoying it So the show has finished. It was really good. Do you enjoy it, Lawrence? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. Really, yeah. Good. really good. Really enjoyed it. We're gonna head home now and get the tram. So we've just got to the tram stop and this is our tram, so that was perfect timing. So it's a double tram, so we've walked right to the end. So hopefully we'll be able to get a seat. See how busy it is. It's quite busy.
Hi, so it's actually been a few days now since we went to see Hamilton for the second time. Um, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about it because there was some things that were different. There was a couple of understudies on. We were also sat in a completely different space. So I thought I'd tell you about that. So I thought I'd just give you a little chat. I'm not going to do a full review. If you want to see a full review, then I'll link my previous video down below where I do a proper review of it. This is just going to be a little chat about... Um, what we thought of it the second time round and uh, the understudies that were on and our view from where we were sat. So um, we actually booked these tickets, um, I think when they first got released, um, which was it, was it like April? April time, something like that, I can't remember, but it's a long time ago and we booked them as soon as they came on sale because we wanted to get the £13 tickets because we didn't have a lot of money, we didn't know how much money we would have later on in the year and we wanted to go for my husband's birthday so we thought we'd book the £13 tickets, so obviously they go pretty quick um, because we wanted the ones that are in the stalls. So we knew we had to book them pretty quick. So we booked them straight away as soon as they were released. And we booked them for row V of the stalls. We were seat three and four. Um, but actually when we did get to the show, we actually ended up moving up two seats because there was no one sat um, in the two seats next to us. So we moved up two seats because then we were a bit more central. Um, so we're lucky we did get to move up a couple of seats. Uh, but like I said, we only paid £13 for those seats and the view for £13 was really good. You do get the overhang from the circle and on Hamilton, it is on a few, they do perform on a couple of levels. There's sort of like um, two levels, they have like balconies uh, where people stand up and sing and perform on. So when they're stood on the side balconies, um, you actually can't really see them. You can only see up to their waist, their head, and that you can't see. Um, but they don't do that very often. And often, most of the time when the people are stood there, it's just ensemble members. Uh, it's not anything main that's happening. So I actually don't think it's, for the price we paid, that we did get a really good view, except for when they were on them side bits. When they were stood at the back on the balcony bit, you could still see them fine. It's just when they stood on the side bits, which didn't happen that much. Maybe three, four times throughout the show. Um, and like I said, it was never anything important that you needed to see. You could still hear them and stuff. And like I said, for £13 for the view that we got, um, I was, we were pretty happy with that. I know Lawrence was really happy with his view. Um, and it was for his birthday and he, he thought the view was great. We also did get quite lucky actually because there was no one sat in front of us in the row in front of us. So I didn't have any big heads. That's the only problem when I sit at the back of the store sometimes. I do worry if someone's tall sits in front of me that I'm not going to be able to see. Um, it happened when I went to see Jesus Christ Superstar um, there not that long ago. Someone really tall was sat in front of me and I was sat on the end. So usually you can sort of lean to the side and see. Um, because it was on the far right, um, I think there was a pole there or something. And oh, there was another person in front of me that was doing the same thing. I just couldn't see anything, couldn't see a thing. Um, and I think that might be why I really didn't enjoy Jesus Christ Superstar because I just couldn't see really much what was going on. But we got really lucky with these seats um, and the view was really good. My parents actually went and sat in um, the same seats and they actually said their view was really good. Um, luckily they didn't get anyone too tall sat in front of them so it just depends on the look of the draw. If you get someone tall sat in front of you, you might not be able to see as well but I suppose that's the same for wherever you sit. Um, but yeah, I thought the view was pretty good. Uh, for the price. I mean, £13 um, is nothing, is it really, for a high-end show like Hamilton. So we were really pleased with the view we got for the price. And I think, I think I filmed the curtain calls that would have been there, so you will have been able to see what we could see. Um, and yeah, I thought it was a good view. I think it's a very good option if you don't have a lot of money to spend on tickets you're still going to get a really good view from there i mean you could also sit up in the grand tier and actually we did go up into the grand tier i think i did film it to see what the view was like from there and i thought the view was really good from there as well actually i think you will get a really good view from there obviously you won't be able to see the 
facial expressions of the cast as well i mean sat at the back of the stalls you don't get a great view of that but you do you can see a lot more facial expressions and in more detail on the costumes and stuff that you will get from up there but at least up there you will get a full view you'll be able to see everything you won't have anything blocked off there's no overhang or anything up there um so i think again if you don't have a lot of money and you are able to get the 13 pound tickets up there i think you are still going to get a good view um and 13 pound for like i said a really high end show as hamilton is pretty good so if you're thinking about going and you don't think you can afford this bench of seats and you're not sure if, what the view is going to be like i would say the view from the grand tier is going to be a pretty good view and i would definitely take it i i think it would look good up there i quite happily go and sit up there and view the show again if we do go again that's probably where we would sit because i think all the 13 pound tickets in the stalls sold out ages ago and there's, there's sometimes have some 13 pound ones at the back of the circle i'm pretty sure they're all gone i think the only 13 pound tickets left now are up in the grand tier but like i said i still think you're going to get a good view from there and, and actually when i went to see the view from the back of the circle i actually think the view from the grand tier was better because you didn't get the overhang so I suppose it depends on what you want to do for the money that you've got um because like i said i can't my uh, first video of when i went to the hamster i was sat on the front row and the view, view was so good and i really really enjoyed it on the front row um i do have to say i did enjoy the show more the first time i went to see it i'm not sure if it's because i was sat closer or i don't know it was press night and the atmosphere was amazing on press night so maybe that had something to do with it um i still really enjoyed the show the second time round but the first time was just amazing but maybe it's just because that was my first time seeing it live uh, like lawrence really enjoyed it he thought it was fantastic so yeah it was still a really good show and yeah like i said those seats were really good so we also uh in this vlog we walked around and showed you a bit more of the theater like i said we went up to the grand tier looked around there up there they have a a kiosk where you can buy like drinks and sweets and stuff and they also have a little moons stand up there as well so you don't have to wait in the foyer to get them they do have those upstairs in the gallery gallery or no, grand tier it's called the palace in the grand tier um they also have like some hamilton sides and stuff up there you can take your pictures with um we also looked on the circle level there's two big bars on the circle level uh, they also have a merch stand there and a kiosk on the circle as well so again you don't need to queue up in the stalls you can come upstairs and there's merch and a kiosk there as well and two big bars um and then obviously downstairs in the stalls area uh there's another two bars um smaller than the ones in the circle and there's no there's no kiosk down in the stalls bit and the, there is a merch stand but it's never open so i think if you're in the stalls you do need to buy your stuff in the foyer really um so yeah that was that we did buy a bit of merch uh, obviously we didn't need to buy a program because we already had one but for Lawrence's birthday, I bought him the pin badge and I also bought him the key ring. Okay, so these are what I bought Lawrence from the show. So I got him the pin badge. So this was £8. Nice little gold pin badge. That's not bad for £8. And we got the key ring and that was £10. So I do have a program, but I didn't buy it from this time round uh, I actually got it free when I went to the press night but these were £5.50 if you want to pick up a programme and these are actually really good quality programmes for £5.50 so I do actually recommend getting one because they are quite good so yeah that is the merch that we picked up and obviously when I went last time I got a magnet which I think was £7 something like that um, but yeah that's what we got so like I said we did have a couple of understudies on we had an understudy on for lafayette slash jefferson and we also had an understudy on for king george the third as well so i'll just show you in the program um who we had and who we should have had I'll just find it so yeah playing lafayette slash jefferson was kieran patel 
and playing King George was Reese West. So I'll just show you who they are in the program. So usually playing uh, Lafayette slash Jefferson is Billy Nevers and he was amazing when I saw him on press night. He was probably one of my favourite performers of the night. I just thought he played that part so well. Um, and he was fantastic. So it was interesting to see someone else playing that part. And again, Daniel Boyce, who played the king, was amazing on press night as well. So again, it was interesting to see someone else playing that role as well. So I'll just find them in the programme. Okay, so here is Kieran Patel. So he's been a swing in The Lion King um, at the Lyceum Theatre and also the tour. Um, he's also been in Just So the Musical, so those are the things that he's done. It says, Kieran is excited to bring Hamilton to new audiences around the UK and Ireland and thanks his family and friends and agency for continued support. So he was good. Um, I thought he did a really good job of playing Lafayette. Um, slash Jefferson, his French accent was good and I think if I hadn't seen Billy Nev Nevers play in the part before I would have thought he was really good but Billy was just so good at the role Um he's probably made it hard for anyone else now to play that role because we was going to compare it to his version um, and so like I said if I'd probably seen him first I'd probably be like oh yeah he's great Obviously, I still saw um, Billy's version. His was fantastic. So he was good, but he wasn't as good as the principal cast member. So playing King George at this performance, we had Reese West. Again, he was really good. So things he's been in, he's been in Rock of Ages. He's been in Beauty and the Beast. He's been in Mary Poppins. That's some of the stuff he's been in. And like I said, he did a good job. Lawrence thought he was really good, but again, I had seen Daniel Boyd playing him. I did think he was a little bit better, but still very, very good. Hello. I'm going to do my little quick feel on Hampton today. Really quite good. Quite impressed with the cast. Impressed with the scene. Impressed with production. Um, that, what was it? The guy playing on Hampton? Stand out. Pretty. Jack Taylor, he, he was a very good one. I was very impressed by him. But slightly more bit of comic relief to this more character, the one playing him. I enjoyed the king. It was a uh, stand-in, so it wasn't the proper one. You know, you know what I mean? But it was still good, so I enjoyed it. Enjoyed all the songs, it's much better live. Definitely is. Could watch the uh, when I was on the um, recorded version, but well, seeing it live is a whole different thing. It's just more in more you get more into the story. I got more into it. I did. Uh, I quite enjoyed both of the songs. I enjoyed the production, the dress, and all that. It's top notch. You can tell it's proper when he's gone into the production to make to make it work so well. Quite good. The dance, the crew, what's the word for? Dancing. What's the choreography for? The choreography was, was very impressive with the songs and the choreography with the ensemble doing it, the movements, dancing, and how it makes the song moving on with the story. Quite enjoyed all that I did. Definitely a very good top notch musical to see. In Manchester, very much worth money to pay to see it. Yes. We got thirteen pound tickets, so bargain for what we, we say. Definitely a special birthday that has made the, my thirty eight. This has this same Hampton I was. Yeah, so definitely kind of seeing it. Great scene, great songs, great production, great acting, great performances all around. Definitely worth seeing it. I would say. So yeah, Hamilton was a great show. We both really enjoyed it. It's both a five star show from both of us. Um, definitely recommend it. I'd definitely go back and see it again. Um, yeah, we both really, really enjoyed it. Like I said, if you want a more detailed review of the show, 
go to my previous vlog which I'll link down below and I give you a more detailed uh, review in there but yeah I hope you've enjoyed this little vlog uh, if you have please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon bye